National Australia Bank has increased its cash rate forecast to 4.1% and says there's a chance rates could reach 4.35% within the next few months. Joining me now, our business editor, our business reporter, Ed Boyd. <laughs> I always give you a promotion, Ed. That's um, nice. That's good. You deserve it. Anyway, Ed, <laughs> this is all due to inflation remaining higher for longer. That's the bad news. Inflation is still really high in Australia. We only just recently got the March quarterly figures saying it was at 7%. It's not coming down as quickly as anyone would like. The Reserve Bank obviously surprised the market this month by lifting interest rates to 3.85%. Now, a lot of the major banks believe 3.85% is the limit for the cash rate in Australia. But National Australia Bank, they're now saying 4.1% is when they're expecting 4.1% in about July. So they expect the RBA to wait a couple of months and then lift rates in July and possibly could lift rates again to 4.35%. It's all due to inflation. Um, we're actually going to get the minutes from this recent Reserve Bank board meeting a bit later today. So we'll actually get more of an understanding as to why the RBA surprised everybody earlier this month when they lifted rates. So that's going to be some critical info that we're going to need to see to really understand the future outlook for rates in Australia, Laura. There's some important economic news being released this week as well. Wage growth, unemployment data. What are you expecting there? Wages, we're expecting to see a 3.6% annual increase in wages in, in the March quarter. Obviously, that's about half the rate of inflation in that quarter. So wages still nowhere near where inflation is in our economy. So cost of living, we know, is a really big issue. And that was one of the big things that came out of the federal budget. And then we've got the unemployment numbers coming out later this week for the month of April. Unemployment is still at virtually 50-year lows, near record lows at 3.5%. And it's expected to stay at 3.5%. And with unemployment that low, it really means interest rates are probably going to have to continue to rise because this is a really tight jobs market that we're in and the economy is starting to slow down, but jobs are not being lost at the moment. So it's a problem for the Reserve Bank and it's a problem for our economy. And I think other, other major bank economists may have to tweak their rates forecast as well to potentially go to 4.1% at two. Yep, sounds like it. Ed, thanks so much.